Hi, I'm Dr. Kurt Wooler. I want to talk to you real briefly about mitochondria. We know that in autism, mitochondria play a big role in body metabolism, but mitochondria also play a role in all of our health, um, in everybody's life, with respects to how our body produces energy. But there are you know, some individuals that truly have an underlying mitochondrial disease, and these are usually detected very early in life and can be life-threatening, but there are people who actually have underlying mitochondrial dysfunction that, although they're not life-threatening, can be problematic if they are challenged environmentally, if they get sick or they have a vaccine reaction or there's heavy metal toxins, whatever it may be that overstresses their body. In chronic fatigue syndrome, we know that mitochondria can be stressed to where their body just isn't producing enough energy uh, and somebody has a chronic fatigue state. In autism, we know that mitochondrial can become dysfunctional and energy metabolism is greatly affected that you know, affects almost everything from the immune system to the detoxification system to the nervous system. Mitochondria, think about them like little factories inside our cells and they produce a tremendous amount of energy and what they use primarily as a fuel source for that energy is fat and protein. So we get a tremendous amount of byproduct from fat and protein production over to, let's say, a sugar metabolism, which is usually doesn't give a whole lot. So uh, the mitochondria are very important as far as producing this energy currency in our body. The way I always, always think about this from a real simple standpoint is, if you're gonna build, let's say, a campfire, what are you gonna first do? First, you're gonna go out and get some kindling, right? You're gonna get some small branches, some dried leaves, and this is gonna be your kindling to get the fire started. The kindling is equivalent to sugar or glucose. It burns quickly, but it doesn't have long-lasting effect. Once you get your fire started, though, you need something that has more bulk behind it in order to get that long-term you know, fire potential. And this is where you're going to go get medium to large size logs. So the medium to large size logs that you put on your kindling and get those burning are equivalent to the protein and fat in the body. So for long-term energy support, our body will usually convert into burning fat as the most productive way of, of utilizing energy metabolism and use sugar as a quick start, sort of an inefficient form of body metabolism. The problem is when you have start having issues in the mitochondria and its ability to regulate metabolism. And this is something that is seen quite often in autism you know, where there's different factors within the mitochondria that become dysfunctional and we're using various supplements like CoQ10 or NADH or ribose to try to fuel and feed the mitochondria to function more appropriately. So mitochondria is something that you will hear about. Um, it's, it's an energy system inside our cells. It's like the little energy factories of our cells and it really packs a big punch with respect to the amount of energy it produces to just keep us healthy and really just keep all of the organ systems in our body working appropriately. Okay, thanks.